Hej då. Hej Brandon. Hej Devin. I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Thanks on East Coast. I heard the weather there was really good last few days. Oh yeah, it was, it was great. Is it, is it still kind of summerish? It's nice. It's a bit dark today, but it's a lot better. Like two weeks back, it was like raining the entire week. Uh, <laughs> but now it's still sunny the past few days. So nice. Good. Yeah. Um, by the way, I wanted to 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 ask you, um, um, what are you using for authorization for for Swifty Swifty IDs? Is there any like what authorization um, we use on top? Like for example, if you run services and stuff like that. Um, uh, we use a home build system. I, like uh, they're 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 currently uh, like different systems, and we're building a new one that will use a spiffy okay. only. Yeah. But yeah, we have to build everything. Okay. Yeah, we we ended up figuring out that we have to you know integrate it <laughs> specifically for ourselves. So uh, yeah, I, I guess we can we can chat about that. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's a mix. We just looked on what is there, and we need a mix of uh, our back and a back, basically. So uh, we didn't find what's what's in there. Yeah. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, Aaron. Good morning, good afternoon. Let's post uh, meeting notes and chat. Um, And we'll try and keep this um, this session brief since um, um, yeah. Justin has uh, let us know that it's uh, Veterans Day and I think Remembrance Day in Europe. So um, I think we have a pretty short agenda. So so we can let everyone get back to to the holiday. Yeah. It was just kind of a uh, weird timing because we didn't have last week's one because of um, election election day. And then <laughs> we have Kipron and then we have Thanksgiving. So I think we wanted to kind of just sync up really quickly um, before everyone forgets about us. <laughs> uh, and OK, I think the main agenda item we have is from Vinay today. So let's wait a couple. Oh, ask that question. Like, well, do we do we need to wait? Oh, go for it. So then, see. Yeah. Uh, uh, anybody looked into that Google Security Score open source project? I found it's pretty interesting uh, idea. Is this the one that was posted in the group? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I don't know if we like if we should use something like this during like assessment and make make sure that's like everything is passed or like there there is like basically project is working on uh, cleaning up all their items that's highlighted by the tool. Mm -hmm. So this is a CI CI check, right? It looks like. It could be implemented as a part by they they basically check lots of things and they have like a on their repository basically they, they explain in what's what checks are and what you can do and how you can enable the things like part of this like a fuzzing for example using OSFAS and some things like a SAS, for example, using something that you can also enable for as a part of Git. And I think it's free for open source projects, uh, which all they seems to be good practices. I think we should encourage doing something like this. Yeah, I, I think in initially, like right now, what we're using in the security assessment, we're using the CI badging. Um, but yeah, this could be a, uh, another thing that we could also add into it as well. 
Um, okay. Yeah, I posted the link for that in the chat for those that are interested. Uh, and then we have uh, we have a uh, a message in the the Slack channel, so anyone interested can comment on that as well. Um, cool. I think we have uh, Vinay. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, awesome. No, so, joke, uh, sorry, in going around, right? Oh, sorry, I was on mute. So I was I was trying not to say. Oh, sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think we're just gonna uh, do a quick round of check-ins. It doesn't seem like there's that much to update on today. Uh, yeah. I, I think we're gonna, there are a couple of new faces around. So maybe let's kind of go through that really quickly. And then I think Vinay, you, uh, you own most of the, well, all of the agenda items today. So I, after we do the check-ins, we'll pass it over to you. Sounds good. Okay. Um, so I see a couple um, new faces or new names around here. Um, do you want to do an introduction if you're new? I think uh, Altez and uh, Eric and Marlo. I'll jump in real quick. Hi, everybody. I'm Altez here, uh, calling in from Toronto in Canada. Uh, work for a company called Security Compass, and uh, we're all about um, sort of security and um, trying to help uh, DevOps teams move quickly uh, and making sure that security doesn't slow them down. So looking forward to working with you guys on this. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Altez. Mm -hmm. Hey, welcome, Altez. Thanks. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Eric uh, Malo, do you want to do a quick introduction? Can go. Uh, my name is Marla Weston. I am over at Intel. I am here because Ava Black talked me into it. And uh, also, I work internally with various teams working with Kubernetes. So I've been trying to wrap my head around all the different pieces. Cool. Are you, are you also working in confid confidential computing? Or, uh... Uh, I do speak uh, every couple of weeks to the QAT team. So part of it is trying to figure out what they need. I can't get them to go yet, but we'll get there. <laughs> awesome. Welcome. Uh, this is Eric. Uh, so yeah. I I believe I've joined these meetings um, a while back, but yeah, I just wanted to get back involved. I've um, been working in a company called Cystic, so involved with Kubernetes security, and yeah, just wanted to get a broader perspective as well. Awesome. Welcome back, Eric. All right, cool. Thanks. And I've, I posted um, the new members page, um, so if, if that's something that could be uh, helpful, um, you know, also please add yourself as well to the member list um, for those that already have not done that. Awesome. So, um, Vinay, I think the, the floor is yours. Hey, thanks, uh, thanks, Brandon. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, as you all know that we've been uh, uh, hard at work at this uh, security white paper, and I think the light is at the end of the tunnel. And I think, uh, um, it's, it's, I think for all practical purposes, it's done. So uh, I, I, you know, I was uh, throwing around an idea, which is uh, how about if uh, some of the authors of the paper uh, did a webinar and it's almost like, um, I don't know, it's not like a fireside chat, but it's almost like a round table kind of a, a format where we uh, highlight the various uh, salient aspects of it and to truly provide some kind of a perspective uh, from thought leaders and from the industry, from their learnings, as it applies to those various uh, uh, aspects and dimensions of security as it, as, as it pertains to cloud native workloads that we have outlined in the paper. And I think uh, some of those are very, very beneficial. As we all know, we've seen it done at KubeCon and other, other events. So I thought, how, well, what if we floated the idea to actually uh, pull together such such an event uh, to really amplify the message of the cloud native security paper uh, across 
across the community and the industry. And uh, so I wanted to bring that up. And, uh, and I know as we do uh, always, I've cut a ticket for it and it's there in the document today, but if you'd like, let me just quickly uh, grab a link to that and then I'll post it here in the chat. So uh, if you're interested, uh, please uh, feel free to uh, call it out in the, um, uh, in, the, in the ticket and we'll see how we can move that forward. But you know, the, the whole intention is to you know, uh, bring some of the authors together to really, really talk about some of the salient aspects as we talk about. In my mind, uh, the way I've started to think about this is two dimensions. One is the environment perspective where we talk about compute, access, storage, runtime, and then the application lifecycle where we've talked about, uh, you know, develop, distribute, deploy, and to really, really just uh, reiterate that message as we move this forward. So uh, I, I don't know, Brandon, if we should uh, have the discussion here, but the ticket is cut. So uh, we should, uh, if you're interested to talk about it, definitely um, uh, please uh, call, call yourself out on the ticket. So, so that is one. Uh, it's a very, very short uh, request kind of update. Yeah. There. I think I think that's cool, and it's definitely going to help socialize the the white paper a lot. Um, just just kind of just when you talked about it, I was thinking that maybe we could see whether we can try and have a. I I'm not sure what platform that you were thinking about, but I was thinking maybe if we could get a slot on the CNCF webinars, I think that would be cool. Um, yeah, no, actually, yeah. Oh, I, that, that's exactly right, Brandon. I was thinking maybe, I don't know what, uh, if SIG Security has uh, like a calendar for webinars, but if how, and the, the next steps was to determine what the logistics would be to figure that out. All right, cool. Yeah, right? definitely. So, so that was one of the first points that I wanted to uh, talk about. And the second one that I also wanted to talk about is, uh, the idea came about where I think uh, uh, Pushkar uh, had, uh, you know, uh, kicked off an effort to actually have a, a Kubernetes perspective, right? Uh, a Kubernetes perspective on the cloud native security white paper that we will, uh, that I think it's already underway. I think it's already written uh, and going to be published. So what, but what, once again, I thought about, you know, one of the themes as, you know, it's this paper is 37 pages long, I think, if it hasn't been shortened since. And, and, and that's a lot, right? So uh, I wanted, I was thinking about kind of like mini blogs or micro blogs that we could actually write, uh, go a little bit deeper and uh, into each of those dimensions once again. And because when you think about uh, how uh, the industry and practitioners apply right at the end of the day a lot of this great stuff is coming from the community but we want uh, practitioners to actually take a lot of these concepts and actually apply it in their different environments and for their use cases so to take i don't know how we could slice and dice it maybe two three four blogs something like that but go a little bit deeper uh, into the best practices and to really help move the needle and help people who are either new or practitioners who are struggling with different kind of concepts to get a, a, a slightly deeper perspective to truly really take a lot of these concepts and operationalize it. So, so that was the motivation and thought around the second mini slash micro blog series. And fundamentally, as you can see, uh, I think the general uh, motivation is, I, I think the all of us at Six, Six Security have done such a tremendous job. This is truly a phenomenal product. And to see once again, how we can help uh, evangelize and uh, amplify that message across the community. So I, I hope, I wish Sarah was here for this. <laughs> so uh, a while back, um, you know, th there was kind of this, this idea of having a Six Security uh, website where you could kind of get the resources together and um, I'm not sure whether you're thinking about it in terms of like a blog on other platform or whether you know Six Security itself can have 
Yeah, uh, so I think uh, JJ had mentioned that there was some, uh, some talk around that, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, it was uh, called the Microsite Project. Yeah, That's yeah, right. exactly, exactly. And so um, I don't know the status of that, Brandon. You probably have a better sense of it. It was uh, a thing, and then it kind of, um, um, the people that were working on it kind of um, got busy. <laughs> so, right, right. Like a lot of other things. So I think there was like some kind of groundwork. We started talking to the CNCF. We got some hosting, actually. They do the hosting on Netlify. Um, so we got access to that, and we're able to like spin up a, a, a website. Okay. Uh, and I think we can probably revive that. I'm going to paste the, the link to the issue. Um, and maybe if you could shoot. Um, shoot an email or, or maybe just comment on this thread and then see whether we can get the credentials. Uh, and, and maybe you know see whether we can kind of revive revive this um right this no that project. would be great exactly so i think one thought was maybe this microsite kind of blog or maybe if uh, depending on how that goes and how soon we can bootstrap that or even maybe try to put these blogs on i don't know how it works on the cncf and obviously on the Oh, I'm not sure whether you cut up. Yeah, I think it was him. <laughs> uh, but Chase, yeah, I, I think that the, the idea is um, um, CNCF has given us a domain, um, a Netlify domain for hosting things, and then we can put it on that. Sure. Uh, sorry, I it is really bizarre thing happened. Zoom just crashed and it rebooted anyway, <laughs> and it was quick. Sorry about that. I might have missed uh, the the previous part of your comment. Uh, Brandon. No, we, we were just we were just responding to to, to Chase's comment. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we got most of that, and then you cut that around the end. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I also uh, I I've lost the chat history because. But I also posted the this other ticket. I think it's 450 and 451. Uh, hopefully, it's there. And uh, once again, I uh, would love for uh, volunteers to collaborate on uh, the, the 451 as well. OK, uh, do, you, do you have any uh, thoughts on like how to break down the blocks or like what the granularity of it would be? Yeah. A uh, great question. Uh, I do. So what I would like to do is uh, maybe just put out a document and I'll attach it to the ticket and give a perspective just to start uh, getting feedback and input on how we can uh, take it from there. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm happy to take that off. Yeah, I think we have a list of topics and then um, we could get some interest for people to sign up for, for you know, things that they, they could write about that would, yeah. that would help. Good. Yeah. That's all I had. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Brandon. Awesome. Um, so thanks, Vinay. Um, do we have any other topics, any other discussion that we want to have today? Come to Security Day on Monday. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that Monday or Tuesday? I can't. Monday. I Okay. I think. Sure. I be. thought I, it's weird. I think they shifted. Like, uh... I've got the schedule open. It's Tuesday. Monday nights Sorry. are the, like contrib meetup, and then Tuesdays are all the colo events. All right. Uh, okay. I'm totally link. confused. Then. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think usually usually it's Monday, so I got. Yeah, confused I just assumed well. it was Monday, just because it's always Monday. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and also we have a six security session as well at KubeCon, so on on drop by. If what you time know. is that? Uh, that is uh, it is on. Let me look it up. Oh, I'll put the link in the. I'll put the link here. There you go. 
that is on Thursday at 4.50 Eastern. Um, yep. Cool. If not, um, hopefully we'll see most people next week during Community Security Day. Excited for that. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Have a good one. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye.